MBL monoclonal B cell lymphocytosis is uh, the preleukemic phase of to chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And uh, we now consider that every patient with CLL had a stage of MBL, probably undetected. Uh, but it's true that from a clinical standpoint, not all MBLs that are diagnosed as MBL will develop into a, a frank CLL. So we think that at the moment, 1% of patients with the diagnosis of MBL, monoclonal B-cell lymphocytosis, will develop a clinically relevant uh, CLL, which means a CLL that needs to be treated. That's 1% per year, so 10% every 10 years, which is a, a limited risk, but still it is important. And that's why when we identify a individual with uh, circulating CLL-like cells in the peripheral blood, we have to start a follow-up, a regular follow-up, which may include um, the white blood cell count uh, or the, the, the cell count in general uh, every six months or every year after uh, some time. And uh, at the beginning, you have to exclude that a patient who has MBL cells in the peripheral blood has uh, a, a small lymphocytic uh, lymphoma. So one has also to do some imaging. Uh, we prefer to do X-ray and uh, uh, of the chest and the ultrasound in the abdomen to exclude the presence of lymphadenopathies. And if this individual doesn't have lymphadenopathies or other tissue involvement, then with only uh, monoclonal B, -cell, uh, B cells in the peripheral blood, they, they are followed up with the only uh, uh, the cell count, the blood cell count regularly. Um, it is important to distinguish among individuals with the MBL, those who have a high count MBL and those who have a low count MBL. And that is a, uh, there is a numerical cutoff. So those who have less than 5,000 uh, monoclonal B cells per microliter, uh, but more than 500, those are the ones that have a so-called high count MBL. And those below 500 per microliter, are those are considered low count MBL. And typically, the low-count MBL are not detected in uh, clinical uh, settings. Um, they cannot be detected by regular flow cytometry done for diagnostic purposes. But they can be detected uh, with the screening, population screening studies or uh, um, research studies. Why are, is that relevant? It's not, they are not, uh, at the moment, considered to be clinically relevant. Uh, so one should not screen population to go and find for these uh, individuals with a very tiny population of MBLs. But we know that we have a, a publication, data, evidence, suggesting that even uh, individuals with low count MBL might have an increased risk of uh, infections and maybe of other tumors. And maybe this uh, small percentage of cells, monoclonal cells, are only indicating that uh, uh, are a sign of the immunosenescence process of the patient. And therefore, maybe this is the reason why they have a higher risk of infection and or other malignancies. But at the moment, they are not yet clinically uh, relevant and they should not be uh, searched for. 